Hey, Marcus Conti reporting on the uh, Iowa caucus. <laughs> All the way. The Democrats are rolling out the shit sandwiches already, you heard? <laughs> I just saw that shit. CNN, fake news. CNN held a poll on the fake Democratic primary in 2020. Huh? Fake news, fake primary. Right? It's fucking great, man. What a, I feel... I tell you, man, I love my country, right? I love this shit, man. This shit's going on, right? So listen to this. We'll talk about it. I also, well, you know what? First, before I want to do that, I want to plug my, uh, a lot of people, I was talking about my psychic uh, experience, <laughs> my experience as a professional psychic in New York City. And uh, it seems like a lot of people were, were interested uh, in that, right? So, uh, but more than that, I wrote a book in 2000, 2000 right before 9-11. And in that book, I actually made a, a, a gesture uh, that 9-11 uh, would, some sort of terrorist attack was was imminent on U.S. soil. And, and that, that was, it was kind of interesting. I didn't actually call it per se, but I did speculate that there would be some sort of major terrorist attack. But that, that book is not really, that was kind of a tongue-in-cheek book on using psychic phenomena to out with the stock market. But this right here is my book from uh, 2012. It's free. It's free. 2012, Wake Yourself Up, right? See, you guys are talking about waking up, but I, I woke up in 2012. Right? I fucking wrote a book about it and shit. So uh, that's me sitting on the beach in Coney Island. Wake Yourself Up, Spiritual Enlightenment, right here, right now. By yours truly, Marcus Conte. Uh, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of stuff in there. You can you can download it. I'll leave the the link is down in the box below. I'll also uh, drop it in the comment section down there. Uh, it's my book uh, label. It's got a table of contents. A lot of words. <laughs> you like words? I think I dropped some poetry in there. I don't really remember much of what I was talking about. <laughs> no, actually I do. That uh, spiritual enlightenment or the the enlightened state is really. Uh, something that one achieves through one's own efforts, the waking up process, that when we, we, we're constantly looking outside for the answers, and a lot of times when you, when you flip the, uh, your, your view, rather than pointing the finger and having three fingers point back at you, you know, you ever hear that saying? Ah, this fucking guy over here, right? But when you point the ping finger at yourself and you do a self-analysis, you start to... Uh, understand a little bit not only about yourself but the world around you so that's a free book if you want to read it i i'd appreciate it if you did you know read it um you could also get it on amazon for a buck but the pdf is free i'm giving it away so there there you go so in the news fake news cnn is reporting on the the uh the iowa caucus <laughs> poll they did a poll they went up to iowa sorry if i popped the mic uh, if they're going, they're up in uh, Iowa already doing doing some polling right now. They think that we forgot about 2016, the cheating, right? I, they already told us in the Democrat in the uh, DNC fraud lawsuit. You remember when they said it's fake that the elections are fake? They they told us, right? You remember that? They said no, no, no. We picked the candidate, right? So this is again the charade. There's nobody. There's nobody coming forward saying that it's a charade. They're 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 running on the notion that. Um, that this is a legitimate election again. So well, let's just talk about it. For fake news, CNN former Vice President Joe Biden holds the poll position in first CNN's poll. <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Biden the shit sandwich. Joe Biden nobody Joe. Right? Fucking Joe nobody. Right? Is the is the Demo there's no way that none of the candidates none of this is gonna fly. Right? None of this they, this is a, a this is a dead issue. I want to talk about this other guy too, Beto. Uh, Mr. Beto. Beto O'Rourke. Uh, he's the front runner. He's a fucking, some kid from Texas. Check him out. So, um, Mediacom poll among likely 2020 Democratic caucus goers. Right? Now, they're polling, they're polling Democratic, they're, they're polling the, the, uh, the, the tried and true Democrats, the Pete, the blind eye, shut eye, Hillary Clinton people, right? Hillary Clinton, by the way, is not even in the mention. That's that's probably a good thing for the Democrats. But uh, 2020 Democratic caucus goes with Vermont Senator. Oh, so so uh, the Iowa poll finds of likely caucus goers saying they back Joe Biden 32 percent as their first choice. 
19% Sanders, 11% O'Rourke, that's Beto, Beto, <laughs> 8% Elizabeth Warren, 5% Camilla Harris, and the rest of the 20 field don't show 5% support. So those are your, that's your, that's your field right there. Joe Biden shit sandwich. Sanders, who of course is fucking Bernie Sanders. I mean, if we had Bernie Sanders running against Trump, if nothing else, that would be the discussion of the decade, right? That would be the, 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 the amazing fucking, you know, uh, uh, debate. But the Democrats are not going to do it. And it, quite frankly, I don't think that the people that supported Sanders in the past are going to come back and, and, and get another knife stuck in their back. They're tired of that shit, right? It's all preliminary, by the way. Iowa caucuses, and it's, again, fake news reporting on a fake election, right? Because they're going to, I mean, they may let Iowa kind of play out, you know, maybe tweak it a little bit. And then as the as the, the primary crosses the country, they, they start to fucking, they pick the candidate, right? That's what the Democrats do. They cheat. They lie. They launder money, right? The NC is a fraud. Right? Iowa caucuses who get the first formal say in who the party's nominee will be, mostly say they are looking for a winner. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, right? You want, you want to win, right? 54% want a candidate who can beat Trump. Over idealistic purity, 40%. This is such bullshit. This is like, these are rigged roles. They, they probably approach the people and say, hey, so you want to take a poll? Right? Yes. They got one yes. You see, so you you want so so then they show him a list and they say okay so Joe Biden yeah you like Joe Biden right you like Joe Biden you like Beto yeah 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 Bernie Sanders right you know you know what I mean like what the fuck man CNN man it's bullshit this is bullshit this is bullshit right I, look I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican I'm just reporting on based on this right here this field ain't a, sh a chance in hell that that uh, Unless, unless the the Sanders people that was that are sleeping right now and gave up on it and walked away, unless Sanders can can revive that, he's the only one who has a shot at at. Sh I mean, and then the Democrats are just going to stick him in the back again. They cheat, right? So they're not going to. They can't support him because he's a, he's he's an anti corporatist. He is not just about. Well, let's talk about Bernie later. But we'll get this guy. This is his competition right here. He's fucking guy. Historically, this is a not only a red state, a bright red state. Is, is that changing? You know, I don't know. Is is my is my honest answer? Um, I mean, a lot of Republicans hey, dude. who are coming out to our events, and a lot of Democrats. But I mean, Texas. A, a lot of it's the guy who ran against, people, um, uh, especially Ted just Cruz. Don't, um, it's congressman. Uh, for them, that's a, a vestige of another time. Doesn't doesn't work for them, and um, they're they're all about. Um, how they're going to be represented in a democracy that increasingly has been captured by political action committees and special interests and corporations. They want to know that they have a voice in, in this campaign. They want to know that there's going to be a fair election, you idiot. He's visited every one of the 254 counties. It's going where the people are, even if historically young people haven't voted. We're showing up. Trump will chew this guy you know, up this and spit campaign. him out. So I think, I think that's a lot of he's a, he's, a, right he's an but, imbecile. But is some of it simply tied to you and your personality in this moment in time or are we seeing a fundamental shift in in the the landscape of politics in texas there's there's something happening um i'm going to tell you who he is and who his family is in a second amount of energy but if you're asking he's not what he appears to be texas blue or will that make us purple or will you remain red that i don't know and i really honestly do not have a sense for the partisan color of this state it's a nice guy his his messaging is empty Talk about voter fraud, election fraud. Their medications. They're talking about school teachers who have to work two or three jobs just to make ends meet. Okay. Talking about a state with 200,000 dreamers who may be mm. deported back to a country they do not know. You're not going to win on that, bro. Contribute to our greatness. Um, they want us to fix those problems, and they could care less uh, about who I do it with or the party affiliation next to my name. They, they just want to see us get something done. You're, You're not going to get anything done. This to win, but if you don't win, if, if, if is being close this is him running against Cruz no, but now he's running for president um, he lost this country these 242 years of being able to freely choose those who will represent us the the course and the direction that the country will take nothing guarantees us a 243rd or 244th 
We could very well be a country of walls, of Muslim bans, of press as the enemy of the people, or we could instead be defined by our ambitions. So I want to make sure this is platitude. That, well, we there's no substance. There's, there's so nothing. My wife Amy and I, uh, our family, this state, uh, all of it's on the line in this year. So we've got to win, and, and it's all on us. So who is his family? That's that's what I wanted to talk about because I found out some stuff. Right? His listen to this guy. Uh, his. Um, Okay, O'Rourke su supports. He's he's his only policy that that actually has any significance is O'Rourke supports stronger antitrust laws to break up monopolies, which he believes stifles competition and innovation. In other words, he's another guy who says, "Yeah, enforce the law. We already have the laws, right? Nobody enforces them." And what, what makes you think this this young man from Texas is going to have any influence whatsoever? But here's the big deal. Right? Here's the real shit, right? How did he get there? How did he get out in, in front so fast, right? I thought he's, they say he's taking grassroots money, right? Yeah, fucking grassroots money, my ass. O'Rourke married Amy Hoover Sanders, the daughter of Lou Ann and William Sanders. William Sanders is a real estate developer who managed a real estate portfolio estimated at $20 billion by Bloomberg News. Bloomberg called him the Warren Buffett of real estate now in fairness that's a step that's his uh, uh wife's father but that's the way that's the money right there's the money he's a little rich kid right he's, he's been married since 2005 right this fucking that's you got you got a billionaire another billionaire in the race right so now i mean the, Warren, elizabeth warren is a at eight percent right I, I don't know. I, I don't think that that, that kid a, is a joke. Unless someone rises up, Democrats, just concede to Trump. Just say, just bow your head to the master. Bow your head. Bow your head to the big man. <laughs> Do it now because you're just going to embarrass yourself. You can't, if you can't cheat in the general election, if you guys, if it's not a rig, if the fix isn't in, you're just going to embarrass yourself, right? So, I mean, that's how I see it already. Yeah, that's the Iowa horse race question. Beyond the horse race question, the Iowa survey asked likely caucus goers if they could ever consider each of the candidates tested in the poll who do not choose as their first or second candidate. I don't know what that means. There was an, another interesting line. Oh, uh, about spoilers. <clears throat> Two others who have flirted with presidential runs are also seen as more apt to distract from the race than to add. Oprah Winfrey, 55%, say that she would distract. Howard Schultz, I don't know who that is. I don't know the guy. 55% is a distraction, and they viewed Michelle Obama as actually a uh, favorable. Right? So, But she's already said she wouldn't run, and she, she, there's no fucking way she's going to win. It's not, not going to happen, right? So... So there you have it, Democrats. Congratulations. You have you don't have a candidate. You have one candidate, and when he starts to rise, you'll stick a, a knife in his back. You've already uh, alienated the you know the entire you know center of the country against you, and they're just gonna they're gonna go with Trump. So congratulations, Democrats. It's uh it's a uh, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun. I mean, again, I honestly I hope that I hope Sanders. Gets out in front in the caucuses and wins them, you know, wins Iowa and New Hampshire, and then he's the front runner. And then the Democrats are going to have to openly stick him in the back and pick somebody else. They'll they'll throw this O'Rourke kid in there, fucking whatever his name is, right? They'll throw him in there, or they'll try to elevate uh, Elizabeth Warren because she's a fucking sellout anyway, right? She already, she's 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 the banks paid her off. She's done, right? So uh, Marcus Conti reporting.